Sosuke Aizen. Sosuke Aizen, Aizen Sosuke, is the former captain of the 5th Division in the Godii 13. He later leaves Soul Society with his followers, Jin Ikemaru and Kaname Tozen. His lieutenant was Momo Hinamori. He formerly served as the lieutenant of the 5th Division under Shinji Hirako. After waging war against Soul Society with an army of Arankar, Aizen was defeated by Ichigo Kurosaki and sealed away by Kasuki Urahara, and then imprisoned for his crimes. At an unknown point in the past, Aizen became part of the 5th Division under Captain Shinji Hirako. He invested himself in the research and creation of the Hogyoku even before Kasuki Urahara. To this end, he sacrificed hundreds of Shinigami and hundreds of Rukangai citizens who bore Shinigami talents to his own Hogyoku, but it was not satisfied with this. At one point, a young Jin Ikemaru watched Aizen meet with three other Shinigami who were kneeling before him. One of the Shinigami handed Aizen the Hogyoku, prompting Aizen to put the orb in a glass and hand it back to the Shinigami. Aizen and his subordinates left an unconscious Ranjiku Matsumoto a short distance away. Aizen eventually caught Shinji's attention, and was promoted to a lieutenant in order for Shinji to watch over him closely, but Shinji's action only helped further the realization of his plans. Appearance When he was a member of the Godii 13, Aizen appeared as a mild-featured man with brown scholarly hair enhanced by square glasses, along with soft brown eyes. He wore the standard Shinigami uniform with a captain's Hayori. During his ascent to Hueco Mundo, he removed his glasses and swept his hand through his hair, revealing menacing eyes and a very different hairstyle, his hair is now swept back, with a strand hanging down his face. In Hueco Mundo, Aizen initially wears Arankar style clothes over his Shihakusho. After Orihai Minoue is taken to Las Noches, Aizen wears full clothing similar in style to the Arankar, complete with a pink sash around the waist. Upon his defeat by Ichigo Kurosaki, Aizen loses all of the physical changes made by his transformation and returns to the physical form he had prior to transforming. While imprisoned in Mukin, he wears an almost entirely black outfit with white trimming, a large black eye patch over his right eye and black boots. A tattered white rag is wrapped around his shoulders. Personality Aizen is a polite, soft-spoken intellectual, often addressing his subordinates by their given names. He rarely shows any sign of alarm or distress, and often has entire situations planned out well in advance. Whenever confronted, Aizen is casual and uncaring, attempting to draw out a conversation and make small talk, which often infuriates those he is talking to. Aizen initially appeared to be a very kind, well-respected captain and was looked up to by many, especially his lieutenant, Momo Hinamori. However, this was just a mask to disguise his dangerously manipulative nature. In truth, he cares very little for his underlings, and is willing to use almost everyone around him as pawns to achieve his goals. He is willing to stop at nothing to further his ambitions, including manipulating or killing anyone if he deems it necessary. He frequently toys with his underlings for amusement. During his time as a captain, Aizen liked tofu, but he disliked boiled eggs. In his free time, he often read, and he gave a special lecture of calligraphy at the Shino Academy because he excelled in this branch of arts. This optional course was immensely popular among the Shinigami students, and many of them felt great sorrow at Aizen's sudden departure. As the commander of his army of Arankar, Aizen controls his minions through acquired respect or fear. Ulquiora Cipher revealed to Orihai Minoue that they are all there to further Aizen's ambitions. Aizen keeps more rowdy individuals like Grimjow Jagerjacks in line through intimidation and mind games. The Arankar Icelinger Werner claims the Arankar follow him because he has no fear, something which beings born from fear and despair find inspiring. Jin Ikemaru has some sense of Aizen's emotions and feelings, correctly pointing out Aizen was enjoying the invasion by Ichigo and his friends and their successes within Las Noches, which Aizen himself confirmed, and noting Aizen was surprised by the arrival of Momo during the Battle of Fake Karakura Town. In contrast, Kaname Tozen has shown no such understanding, and has fallen victim to one of Aizen's more minor mind games when Aizen subtly manipulated him into punishing Grimjow for him while Aizen himself kept up his appearance of benevolence. Aizen's true objective was to overthrow the King of Soul Society. As he and his fellow traitor captains were departing from the Soul Society, he told 13th Division Captain Jushiro Yukatake, no one has stood on the top of the world, not even the gods, but he aspires to stand on the heavens and end the unbearable vacancy on the world's throne. According to Kasuki Urahara, since mastering the Hogyoku, Aizen has become less cautious in battle, for Aizen would not have allowed Urahara to use level 90 Kido before he subdued the Hogyoku. Aizen admits his new powers allow him to let his guard down.
Due to this newfound power, Aizen has developed an arrogant and overconfident attitude, often not even thinking his attacks or defense through any longer like he used to, or even bothering to find out the effects of his opponents in his own attacks. In his newest form, he has developed a severe superiority complex, believing he is now above both Shinigami and Hollows. Because of his superior attitude and high intelligence, Aizen is easily enraged when facing something or someone which he does not understand, for example, when witnessing Ichigo Kurosaki use Seigo no Getsuga Tensho, Aizen becomes furious because he is unable to comprehend how a human has surpassed him. By the time he is released from Yukon, he has reverted to his calm, casual personality, brushing aside Shunsuke Kairaku's praise regarding his current abilities, and somewhat undergoes a change of heart, even being willing to fight against Yawach and assist Ichigo before returning to Mukin. He disagrees with Yawach's philosophy about combining all three planes of existence to eliminate the fear of death and believes that people would never have the courage to move forward against such a threat in Yawach's world. Inventions Hogyoku, Crumbling Orb, viz, Breakdown Sphere, Aizen has stated he arrived at the conclusion of the Hogyoku before Kisuke Urahara, though it ended in failure. In order to finalize the Hogyoku, the souls of hundreds upon hundreds of Shinigami and hundreds and hundreds of Rukongai citizens who bore Shinigami potential needed to be sacrificed to it, but it still was not satisfied. According to the experimental data, Urahara's Hogyoku was also incomplete, so Aizen decided to steal this Hogyoku and present it to his own. Produced as a result of Aizen's holofication research, this Hogyoku is what gave the visor their hollow powers. This process seems to spread as some form of infection through wounds, which only has the desired effects on souls with high amounts of Ryuryoku and not souls with low amounts of Ryuryoku. Those infected experience great sickness and fatigue until they vomit up a white liquid, which forms the beginnings of their hollow mask before proceeding to transform their bodies and warp their minds. Other than this, all which is known is the process is accelerated by aggressive emotions. The conclusive result turns a Shinigami into a primarily hollow-like humanoid, which is a highly unstable transformation causing mindlessness and aggression. Kaja negation, Kaha negation, Spanish for, negation box, Japanese for, anti-membrane of negation, this cube traps a subject in an alternate dimension from which there is no escape, however, this assumes it is being used as intended, it was meant to punish weaker Arankar for disobeying the Espada commanding them. More powerful Arankar, namely the Espada themselves, can escape, given enough time. Hollow research and development. During his tenure as a Shinigami and after his defection, Aizen spent much time researching Shinigami and Hollows in order to break down the boundaries between them. Because of this, he was able to create Hollows with Shinigami-like abilities. He created Hollows with the ability to hide their Ryatsu like the ones who attacked Rinji Aburai, Izuru Kira, and Momo Hinamori during their training, Hollows, like Metastasia, with the ability to shatter a Shinigami Zampakuto and fuse with them, and even a Hollow using a Shinigami soul as a base. However, according to Aizen, all of these ended in failures. After his defection, he began using the Hogyoku to create Arankar who were far more powerful than naturally occurring Arankar. Aizen gave hollow powers to a Shinigami, namely Kanaim Tozen, who gained both a hollow's mask and a resurrection. Equipment Ryatsu Concealing Cloak, a cloak created by Urahara which hides the wearer's Ryatsu. Aizen used this cloak to sneak up and attack Ishin Shiba. Aizen states it allows the wearer to blend in with the air around them by incorporating Kido into the cloak, almost completely concealing them from sight. Powers and Abilities Genius Intellect, arguably, the most fearsome trait of Aizen is his tremendous intellect. He is well versed in the history, strategy, and tactics of soul society, and is privy to knowledge unknown to many, such as the existence of the Oaken and its method of creation. He has created several Hollows and Arankar while avoiding any suspicion from the majority of Soul Society. For over 110 years, he had been engaging in experiments involving unique and highly dangerous manipulations of Ryuryoku and Reisher, including experiments involving the holification of Shinigami, something which had never been done before. He has an innate knowledge of the Hogyoku, rivaling that of its creator, Kisuke Urahara, even knowing how to destroy it. He figured out the true nature of Shinji Hiroko's Shirkai, allowing him to counter its effect. He effectively deduces the true nature of the Hogyoku via trial and error of the situations which revolve around it. Master Manipulator, Aizen has proven himself to be a very crafty and cunning man since his public betrayal of soul society. He can deceive and manipulate others around him in different ways for a variety of purposes. For years, he convinced everyone around him he was a kind-hearted man with the best intentions for soul society while performing horrific actions. 
he has a great talent for analyzing and observing everything in his presence, allowing him to understand a person's pattern of thinking and better manipulate them. He can formulate well-thought-out plans several steps ahead of others, some of which have a long term in mind. His most well-known plan spans over 110 years, a great accomplishment which involved moving people around like pieces on a chessboard and making sure they played the role he had planned out for them. He is masterful at plans within plans, such as kidnapping Oriheim, allowing him to use her abilities to extend the shelf life of the Hogyoku and lure many of his enemies into Hueco Mundo to trap them, making it easier for him to accomplish the goal of invading the Soul King Palace. Master strategist and tactician, Aizen has proven himself to be a masterful and flexible tactician, adjusting seamlessly to any given combat situation, if not planning out events well in advance. He understands the strengths, weaknesses, and mannerisms of his enemies, and creates strategies to achieve victory. This includes modifying an errand car for the sole purpose of defeating Captain Commander Genryosai Shigakuni Yamamoto, a Shinigami whose abilities surpass his own. Despite viewing his power as worlds beyond others, Aizen is highly cautious in battle, placing special protections on himself so as to leave no blind spots. Kido Master, Aizen has immense proficiency in using Kido spells. He is well versed in a variety of Kido types and skilled enough to use even high level Kido without the use of their incantation, such as Heido No. 90. Kuro Hitsuji to disable 7th Division Captain Sajin Kamamura, albeit only at a third of its power. Even during his time as a lieutenant, he could block high-level Heido spells such as Heido No. 88. Hiryu Gekazoku Shinten Reiho from the likes of Tezai Tsukabashi, captain of the Kido Corps and the most proficient Kido master in Seoul society at the time, with Bakudo No. 81. Danku. He can also produce powerful protection spells while in battle and can use mid-level spells by stating the name without number or type. After his imprisonment in Mukin, Aizen is able to cast the strongest Kido at full power effortlessly, including using Heido No. 90. Kuro Hitsuji while he was still restrained to a Ryatsu suppressing chair, and Heido No. 99. Goryu Tenmetsu, the highest level offensive spell of all. Shuenpa Master, Aizen is so fast, opponents commonly cannot discern even being attacked by him until after it has taken place. Aizen can easily outmaneuver Ichigo's Bankai and Hollow Mask enhanced speed, to the point where he could casually lay a hand on Ichigo's chest and still dodge a point-blank attack. Aizen can dodge simultaneous attacks at close range and evade Bankai level techniques, even when being attacked from behind. Master Swordsman, Aizen is a highly skilled swordsman, with his skills supplemented by his immense strength. He can perform tremendously powerful and precise strikes and cut through very sturdy targets, such as Rinji's Shirkai and Kamamura's Bankai. Aizen's skill is of such a degree that he can fight against four captains, two of which use their Bankai, and four Visor, with three being former captains of Godii 13, almost simultaneously and find openings to defeat them with one or two strikes each, as well as easily pressure and overpower a hollow mask enhanced Ichigo Kurosaki with only his sealed Zanpakuto. Hakuda Master, while preferring to finish his fights quickly with his Zanpakuto or Kido, Aizen is a highly capable unarmed fighter. Repeatedly, Aizen has caught his opponent's weapons with a single bare hand. While fighting offensively, he exhibits tremendous agility and dexterity, combining both sword and barehanded skills to simultaneously strike with his sword and kick opponents with great force. Immeasurable spiritual power, even by captain standards, Aizen possesses a tremendous amount of Ryuryoku. When Aizen noted that the Hogyoku in its half-awakened state can be fully activated when temporarily fusing with someone with at least twice as much spiritual power as an average captain-level Shinigami, he calmly proved able to do so himself. After the deaths of Berrigan Luzenbairn and Coyote Stark and Aizen subsequently cutting down Tyr Harabel, he claimed to be more powerful than all of the Espada combined. During his battle with the Godii 13 and the Visard, Aizen was capable of defeating several of his opponents at the same time relatively unscathed, with Jin Ikimaru commenting that no amount of preparation could hope to combat Aizen. After spending a year and a half sealed away in Mukin and losing most of the powers granted to him by the Hogyoku, Aizen's Ryatsu increased to the point where restraining him to a Ryatsu suppressing chair was necessary to keep it in check, with Urahara even believing that he has surpassed his Hogyoku infused forms from his fight with Ichigo after witnessing the destruction wrought by his incantation less Heido No. 90. Kurohitsuji. His Ryatsu is Violet. His colossal Ryatsu is the reason why Aizen was chosen as one of the five special war powers by the Wandenrake. Masterful Ryatsu Control, 2nd Division Lieutenant Marekio Omida stated Aizen's mere presence is monstrously overwhelming. The force of Aizen's Ryatsu is great enough to, without any effort, bring Grimjow Jagerjax, the 6th Espada, to his knees. He has stated it takes a lot for him not to, crush an ant, 
referring to Rinji, the 6th Division Lieutenant, in his path. Aizen's Ryatsu is powerful enough to nullify abilities such as Suifeng's Naijiki Kasatsu, and allow him to remain conscious under the effects of Nanana Nejikup's The Underbelly. After being released from Yukon, Aizen displays the ability to use his Ryatsu as a shield that can vaporize living beings that come too close to him, similar to his previous forms when fused with the Hogyoku. He can focus his Ryatsu to break through dense barriers that are permeated with Rasher. Immense strength, Aizen is strong enough to stop the blade of Ichigo's Bankai with just one index finger, albeit Ichigo was already battle-worn from fighting Bayakuya Kachiki, and almost cut him in half with a single sword strike. He can stop the Shirkai of both Rinji Aburai and Sajin Kamamura with just one hand and destroy them with a single swing, proving his strength far exceeds that of the average captain-level opponent. Aizen further displays his strength by cutting through the sword and wrist of Kamamura's Bankai. Immediately after Shunsue Kairaku used one key to remove the seal on Aizen's mouth in Mukin, Aizen was able to move freely from his bindings without any further intervention from Shunsue. Immortality Due to his interaction and subsequent fusion with the Hogyoku, he has gained some degree of immortality, allowing him to regenerate from the damage caused by Ichigo's Nujetsu, albeit at the cost of his new Hogyoku powers, and live past his 20,000-year sentence in Mukin. He took no damage from using Heido number 90. Kuro Hitsuji on himself in an attempt to free himself from the Ryatsu suppressing chair he was restrained to, despite the technique having destroyed all of Yawacha's remaining eyeball creatures and most of his surroundings. Later, he remained unfazed after being dismembered and impaled by a Soul King empowered Yawach, and survived being engulfed by his immense and chaotic Ryatsu. Zanpakuto. Kyoka Suijetsu, Mirror Flower, Water Moon in its sealed form, it resembles a normal katana. The only decoration is the Tsuba, which is a hexagon. The two sides parallel to the blade are long, whereas the four sides above and below the blade are shortened, making it into almost a diamond or prism-like shape. It has a green handle. Shirkai, the release command is Shatter, Kadakuro, and is used to both activate and deactivate it. Shirkai special ability, the special ability of Kyoka Suijetsu is Kanzen Simon, complete hypnosis. It controls the five senses to the point where it can make the target misinterpret another person's form, shape, mass, feel, and smell to be an enemy's. The initiation condition for the hypnosis is for the enemy to see Kyoka Suijetsu at the exact moment it is released. After seeing it just once, this person will completely succumb to the hypnosis every time it is released, regardless of how long ago they saw it, as the visored remain affected even after 110 years. When Aizen turns off the hypnosis by force of will, the image shown melts away or shatters. The complete hypnosis of Kyoka Suijetsu is absolutely flawless, even if the target is aware of being under the hypnosis, they cannot resist its influence. The hypnotic abilities of Kyoka Suijetsu make it a highly useful tool in combat, for Aizen can create simple or complex illusions to deceive his opponents. For example, by creating a decoy of himself, or other illusions to distract his opponents, Aizen can hide his own movements and attack with impunity. His opponent will remain focused on the illusion until it is too late to react. After the Hogyoku disintegrates his Zanpakuto, Aizen is still able to use its illusionary powers, even against Yawacha's The Almighty, however, unlike previous usage of the complete hypnosis granted by his Shirkai, Aizen implies that he isn't aware of what Yawach is perceiving at the time, and would have no control over Kyoka Suijetsu's influence on Ichigo had he been exposed to its release. Additionally, the hypnosis only lasted until Yawach revived himself. Bankai, not revealed. Former powers and abilities. Upon fusing the Hogyoku with his own body, Aizen underwent a series of transformations, into a being that transcended both Shinigami and Hollows. His appearance then reverted back to normal in the aftermath of Ichigo Kurosaki's Mujetsu. Kasuk Urahara suspects that the Hogyoku had rejected Aizen, though Ichigo surmised that the Hogyoku had reacted to Aizen's hidden desire to be like everyone else after feeling Aizen's loneliness in their battle. Despite losing access to these forms, Aizen retains his immortality and tremendous Ryoku, and eventually surpasses the forms by the Quincy Blood War. Weaknesses Zanpakuto Sight requirement, because Kyoka Suijetsu's release must be seen for victims to succumb to the hypnosis, its ability does not work on the blind or those who have not seen its release. Near flawless illusions, while the illusions Kyoka Suijetsu creates are quite powerful, those with considerable power and skill themselves may be able to note slight differences in the illusions compared to the real thing, even if they are not able to determine what exactly is different. 4th Division Captain Retsu Unohana detected something was amiss with Aizen's fake corpse, even though she did not realize what it was until seeing Aizen alive. Ryatsu Presence 
the Riatsu of Kyoka Suijetsu gives it away to those who are unaffected by the hypnosis or those who are keen enough to sense its actual presence while under the hypnosis. Touch Negation The sole way to escape the ability of Kyoka Suijetsu is to touch the blade itself before complete hypnosis is activated. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.